Welcome to reading Filling the Blanks introduction session. Let's go ahead and see what this question type is about and what are the things that we need to keep in mind to score well at it. In your PT exam you'll get four to five questions of this type. Okay. Uh, what you'll see on your screen, you know, you'll see some text at the top with some blanks in it and then at the bottom in a box you'll see uh, a number of words. So what you have to do is you have to drag the, the words you know from the box at the bottom into the blanks at the top alright uh, there will be some extra words in the box so usually three words are extra okay uh, so that means if you know you've got four blanks in the text then you'll have seven options seven words from which you can drag and drop this is what the screen will look like so as I said you know you'll see the text and it has got those blanks you know those blank boxes and then at the bottom you've got the word so you can click on a word drag it and drop it in the particular blank okay and as I said three words are extra so that means you know not every word uh, will fit into the blank so it's a test of your reading abilities of course uh, and more specifically you know uh, your ability to understand how a word fits in the context of a sentence all right so how a particular word fits in the sentence compared to other words so when the uh, uh, you know you start attempting the question so first quickly skim the text to get an overall understanding of what it is about and then start attempting you know one blank after another whenever you put a word in a particular blank make sure that it links with the words before it and it links with the words after it so in your mind you know try to make a picture of you know because every sentence it tells a picture it you know tells you something so in your mind uh, try to imagine try to understand that by adding that word in the blank is it completing that picture is it adding more meaning to that picture or not or is it something you know that doesn't seem to go with that picture okay so that would tell you, you know, whether it makes sense in that context or not. Um, and yes, so so whichever word you're putting in, you know, it should be right grammatically, and it should also make logical sense. Uh, if, however, you know, you are not able to identify a word, or you know, you find it difficult to fill one particular blank, then just go to the next one. Okay. Once you have done, you know, a few of them, um, there'll be lesser number of options remaining and it'll become easier to do the remaining blanks all right and once you have uh, filled all the blanks then spend some time you know just a few seconds to review everything in the end because there are those three extra words so ask yourself you know can any of these words uh, make a better option all right can there be a better word than the words that I've put in so that's a way to you know review and make sure that you don't leave out, leave out on any better option all right um, please uh, spend proper time you know uh, in the practice so uh, as you go through each and every practice question uh, make sure that you know you pause and you spend enough time trying to understand why we have picked one option and not the other all right so try to understand the technique that we are following because that that's very important when you go into the exam